Hello everyone, welcome back. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to change the default error validation name used inside Livewire. Okay, so basically change this email to whatever you like. So here I have a simple contact us form. And what I would like to do is change the email used inside the error ma validation message or error message to company email. All right, how can you go ahead and do that? So if we take a look at the PHP for code for uh, this contact us form, I have a couple of public properties. So today I'm going to focus on the email and this is where I have defined my validation rules. So if you guys actually hover over this rule on VS Code or PHP Store, you can see it has a couple of uh, optional arguments. So one of them is this as, and you can go ahead and change this, use this to change the name uh, inside the validation error message. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to say as, and then you can put whatever you like, company email, okay? So now if I go back and I try again, now we get the company email is required. So it's just that easy. You can go ahead and use this as field to customize it to whatever you like. Now, alternatively, you can also go ahead and change your uh, property name if you like, but that doesn't always work. It's not really feasible. Maybe the name you want here is very long. So your property name is going to be very long, or maybe it's just not possible. You may need to change all your blade files. So this is a convenient as easy way of changing the name inside the error validation message so that's it guys for today's episode i hope you this helped you out if this is a problem you're struggling with and as always make sure you like the video and subscribe and i see you guys on the next episode have a great day bye